Hi. Now, when you get integrals that have a root in and that function inside the root is the form of ax plus b, then the type of substitution that you could try is this. In fact, there's two substitutions. You could let u equal 3x minus 1, or you could let u squared equal 3x minus 1. And in this video, what I'll show you is how we go about using this substitution. And then in the next video, we'll look at using this one. And then you can compare methods, OK? So in order to fit this in, what I'll do is I'll just say let i be equal to this integral. And in the usual way, what we need to do is find du by dx first of all. So du by dx is equal to 3. And from this, we can take the reciprocal of this and get dx by du. dx by du would be equal to 1 third. Or you might want to work with just dx. And if you do that, we'll just put or here, dx would equal 1 third du. And you could either use dx by du in here or you could use the dx here as one third du. But whatever, what we have here is the integral of x. Now, x can be found if we take this formula and rearrange it. So I'll just put here also, rearranging this for x, we can see that x would be equal to u plus 1, all divided by 3. So. If I put that in place of x, we've got u plus 1, all divided by 3. And then here we've got the root of u, or u to the power half. And then we've got dx by du, which is 1 third. And then we've got du. Or if you replace dx with 1 third du, you'll get this result anyway. Now I'm going to pull 1 ninth out the front. We've got a third here times this third. So if we put the constant 1 ninth out the front of the integral, then I've got u to the half multiplied with the u plus 1. So that's going to give me u to the power 3 over 2, and then plus u to the power half couple of terms there, so I'll put that in brackets, and we're integrating all of this with respect to u. And then, in the usual way, just integrating each of these two terms, put the 1 ninth there. Integrating u to the power 3 over 2 gives us u to the power 5 over 2, and if we divide by 5 over 2, it's the same as 2 fifths of u to the power 5 over 2. And then for the next term, add 1 to the power, that becomes u to the power 3 over 2. Divide by 3 over 2, same as multiplying by 2 thirds. Close that bracket off and don't forget the constant of integration plus c. Then what I want to do is just put the two fractions over the lowest common multiple. So of 5 and 3, that's going to be 15. So I multiply the 5 with 3 to get 15, so times the 2 by 3, and you get 6u to the power 5 over 2. And for this next term, times 3 by 5 to get 15, so times the top by 5, and you get 10. 10u to the power 3 over 2, and then that's plus the constant of integration. So just cleaning this up further, I can factorise the top here. So let's just underline this, border that off, and we've got therefore that i, the integral, equals, and we've got 2 as a common factor here, so we've got 2, and we can pull out u to the power 3 over 2, so u to the power 3 over 2, and then on the top here we're going to be left with 3u plus, for this one, it'll be 5. And then all of this is over 9 times 15, which is 135. And not forgetting the constant, plus c. 
Now I can substitute back in for u. So we end up with 2 times u. u is 3x minus 1, so we've got 3x minus 1 all to the power 3 over 2. And then put a square bracket here because I can see we've got 3 times u. 3 times u being 3x minus 1. And then we've got the plus 5. And then close the bracket off, put the plus c there. And this was over 135. And finally, when we clean this up, we've got two lots of 3x minus 1 to the power 3 over 2. And that's all over 135. And then I can see that here we've got 3 times 3x, which is 9x. And then we've got 3 times minus 1, which is minus 3, plus the 5. That's going to be plus 2. And there we go plus the constant of integration c. So that's one way then that we can do that type of question when you've got a square root that contains a function of the form ax plus b. Do try the substitution where u equals the bit inside the square root. OK? Now in the next video, I'll show you how we can use a different substitution then to do the same integral. u squared equals 3x minus 1 so that you can compare the methods.